So I've uh, gone to Glovis.usgs.gov and uh, pushed the login button, and it comes to this the sign-in page. So I will log in with my USGS account, and I'm going to launch Glovis. And I'm not going to take the tour. Um, I'll let's see. Let's navigate up to the northwest here, and I can zoom in and out if I wanted to do this more quickly, more directly. Uh, so let's get in over Vancouver. Okay. Oh, there's a, yeah. Okay, this is a nice scene, um, and I can pick out the date from the. The name, it was t in 2005, May 26th. Okay, so um, that's selected, and, and uh, um, or I can go down here to the, the uh, lower right-hand corner, choose Select. And, and now I have this Download button clicked it and what I'm looking for is um, the the bottom entry the the large one here download the the uh, level one GeoTIFF data product and so I'll click on that oh and if you don't get any further than that sometimes you have this problem you notice the yellow bar at the top of my browser it says the uh, pop-up window has been been prevented from opening, so I'm going to go in and, and say allow pop-ups for this website. Okay, and it's going to uh, offer to save the file. I will go ahead and save it. It helps if, if uh, I'm going to put this just in my downloads folder. Say save. Okay, and I can close this window now. Um, uh, it takes about, uh, depending on your connection, it took a couple minute or about a minute for this to download. And in Firefox here, I'm going to open the the folder that contains the data set, and I'll drag it over here. And it's um, you'll, the bottom at the bottom of the uh, window here, long name dot tar dot gz. Okay, so now I have to unpack this data, and I am just going to go ahead and in this in this uh, um, same directory just create a um, new folder. I'm going to call Landsat. Okay, and then I am going to take and um, Let's see, here's my data. Uh, I'm going to cut and paste into this folder so we don't have to look at all the other files that I have here. Okay. Um, now, the, unpacking this file is a two step process. Um, and I, I'm going to use the, the um, uh, program 7-Zip, which is a freely available uh, uh, program for doing this. And I'm going to, to say, uh, uh, if you can just go extract here. Okay, now uh, this is, like I said, it's a two-step process. So now I have this, this file name with a .tar file. So I have to do this one more time. Go to 7-Zip and just say uh, extract here. And by the way, I was getting to that 7-Zip program by right-clicking on the file name. And uh, you can see here all these uh, files that have the little red icon and yours that that's because of my default graphics program that's the icon for that on my computer your your computer will no doubt be different 
um, but you can see here uh, the long file name and then a, a, a B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. So that those are the band, seven Landsat 5 bands. And then in addition, there are, there's some uh, metadata files and other information that comes with this data set. But, but for the, the files that you actually want to work with for the final project in 374, it would be uh, actually bands 1 through 5, skip band 6 because that's the thermal band, and then use band 7. So 1 through 5 and 7.